what is nostalgia? Nostalgia in games, or not really in games, the total definition of nostalgia is kind of remembering something from your childhood that you was fond of. Now, looking at this in a game aspect, Minecraft, older Call of Duties, older Fallout, any big AA company, all the old version of the games, if you was born in 1990s to 200s and you had a console, you would consider these, you would consider some of these games nostalgic. Now, looking at it, some of these games still do hold up today, like TF2, which is Team Fortress 2, that game's still running today with a huge fan base. Sadly, it is overrun by bots. But the main point of this is nostalgia and Minecraft. Minecraft was a game made in 2009, made by Marcus Pearson. No longer works on the game, it is now by Mojang. But as of right now, it's still somewhat the same old game. It was worked on by Marcus Pearson, then later on he sold the company due to he wanted to and most of the updates now wouldn't have came out if he was still working on it. Now, looking at the direction of how Minecraft is going, it's going in a better state. There's updates, a bunch of new stuff coming out, probably wouldn't have came out if Marcus Pearson was still working on it, also known as Notch. The whole nostalgia factor about Minecraft is the older build, where it was mostly Notch working on it. I would say nostalgia factor kind of wore out when Notch quit. Back then, most of the stuff was bare bones. Only latest edition would be the end. From as I can remember, his last update was maybe when um, in cities were released. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember that wasn't even added. You just had an Ender Dragon. It added a lot. As a kid, you would say this. It was it was amazing. You would probably had fun with your friends playing it. But now, if you revisit it now you would be feeling something called nostalgia. Looking at your old worlds and kind of just reminiscing on the past. Even some of your older builds may bring slight liminality of just looking at it, which also ties in with nostalgia. Now, why Minecraft in particular instead of other games like Call of Duty, Fallout, GTA? No, reason why is because, I mean, GTA is still on and popping for some reason, but it just doesn't hit the same as Minecraft. Minecraft was a game that still maintained its same look. I mean, it's getting better and better with each update, but you can revisit older builds of it, unlike in GTA where you cannot. It's still the same game that has been $20, $25 if on PC version. Like the Minecraft YouTubers adding a bunch to the community, it really adds in the 2010 plus era where minecraft was booming you'd see a bunch of challenge videos lucky vlogs the famous youtuber popular mmos doing content before everything happened it was kind of like the golden era minecraft kind of really made in that golden era you ask anybody they'll say oh yeah minecraft was a part of my childhood some people might say it's not, they might say, oh yeah, Call of Duty, but I mean, mostly Minecraft was the staple with that whole entire, this is like the added on part, either way, the whole thing I'm trying to say is, Minecraft really added on back in 2010, the communities, the mod, the mods, my bad, the servers, Mindplex sitting down recently, kind of, well, I mean, overall, it was dying, it was losing players as time went on. It's kind of like a relic of the past. Back in its old days, it used to be super popular, and now it's kind of like, eh, no point of playing it. But, I would say, Minecraft, the reason why Minecraft holds more weight than many other games is because the potential it had. Well, it still has potential, it's just... It holds better potential than many other games. I mean, you can still visit BO2 and still feel like this game feels so nostalgic. Or this game brings me back to my childhood. Playing zombies on Nuketown. Or playing Transit. Or The Farm, which is the better app. 
either way it just did minecraft would do that miles better due to the fact that you, you could do all of that as a kid back then minecraft seemed endless there was a lot to do from building killing thing killing the, beating the game even when you beat the game there's still stuff to do it wasn't really just one goal it's kind of just like you make your own adventure that's what makes it cool like the minecraft youtuber snappy he made his own world well his like whole mini oh well, not mini series large series on his world having like a whole garden and stuff if you look, look back at it if i were to look back and like view his world i would probably be taken back when i used to watch him even as he states his fans grow up and it's kind of hard to produce minecraft content because no one wants to watch it anymore either way minecraft really did a good job even though now it's in microsoft's hands it can probably still make a lasting effect depending on what they do you know the two updates per year even though notch basically put out one every like six years i remember coming back renting minecraft and like the uh, the added ocelots it was like whoa i thought this was amazing but it was just an awesome lot and like jungle temples it wasn't much but it felt like a lot like with the whole nether 2.0 where you can make like, any portal I remember waiting on christmas it was just the anticipation when, when minecraft with the update as a kid he was always excited for it now it's more like uh -huh, they added an update but overall not many other games could really make you feel like that Diab any of the Diablo series didn't feel like that I mean you can probably ask a WoW player oh yeah don't you like WoW Classic does it take you back they probably would say no it just feels like another game 